How can I help you, sir? I'm sorry, Comrade Belikov, but Zakayev has increased security measures. You'll need authorization from the war room like anyone else. I'm sorry, I can't. Zakayev would have my head on a pike. How important is pursuing this lead to you? Ah, a Cuban cigar would really distract me. I'm sure you could find a personal stash in one of the offices. Good day, sir. The guard won't let me in. Uh, I need to get what he asked for. Or I can take him out. Are you here about my son? will be pleased. Now I need to focus on the bunker key. It's not easy being a double agent, huh? What can I do for you? Wonderful. I'll let you in. But this never happened. Sir.
Your attention, please. Lieutenant Corinzo reporting security. I'm sorry. Where is Cherkov? What can I do for you, Comrade Belikov? The General will be questioning a prisoner today, but should be available most of the time. <laughs> Just let me know when you're ready to meet with him. I have a chance to kill Cherkov. Kravchenko's office will have the poison I need. Whoever you are, you won't get shit out of me. Help. You need my help. Save your breath. Ivanov won't cooperate. Нет. I should find leverage in the records room. KGB has his wife and daughter's abductions already planned. That's good. I can use this to my advantage. Okay. What? 
What does my family have to do with any of this? Yes, anything. Please, what do I need to do? Kill him? Uh, I'll try. But swear to this, my own life for my family. I've just heard the most amusing thing. Let's chat once I'm finished here. Comrade, how's our friend doing? I don't know, sir. He doesn't have much to say. Huh. We'll see about that. Citizen Ivanov, I trust you're enjoying your accommodations. Be advised, we have a situation in the holding cell. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, now I need to head to the basement and let Adler steam <clears throat> in. How can I help you, sir? Ludden. Ah, Adler's team will need uniforms to get past it here. Luring two soldiers into the tunnel should do the trick. Bielik of here, send a security detail to meet me in the furnace room. Immediately! Wasn't sure you'd come through. I don't have much choice, do I? This keycard gives you elevated access to the bunker. What about uniforms? Shh, sounds like they're here now. Okay, I will lead them through and distract them. You two do the rest. Now, take cover. Keep it clean. Uniforms are no good to us, bloody. Там, там, там. Я нашел не за какую дверь. Нету никакого оправдания этой некомпетентности. У нас есть очень строгие протоколы, чтобы это предотвратить. Понятно? Окей, okay, я have to leave, but you should have everything you need. Now, if stopped, you are reporting with the commander sober. Get changed. Weapons and keycard are in the bag. Come on, this way. Let's run the bunker on our own. Ты слышала генерального секретаря Брежнева? Нет. Что случилось? Ему сделали операцию. Сердце. Внимание! 
Товариш, можеш да пустиш нас. Ладно. No metal detectors for us. We're going around. И куда это вы направляетесь? Досмотр обязателен для всех без исключения. Вы должны пройти досмотр. Доставьте вашу сумку сюда для досмотра. Пойдем вам едем к обиности. Дайте нам пройти. Не принимайте это близко к сердцу, товарищи. У меня приказ досматривать всех, без исключения. Товарищ, ты нужен за Кайву. Я разберусь. Спасибо, товарищ. После Вити, Белико. По-моему, я здесь, нет? Пойдем. Сколько нужно? Вот что здесь происходит? Я ждал Ольгу Соколову. Но она не спустила за вами. Take us down. No, it's. When did we arrive? Ah, da. Resumed, sir. Товарищ командир, я не расслышал. Твое сопадение. Я как раз к нему на прием. Обязательно передам ему привет от вас. Gear up. They won't be happy to see us down here. Wait for my word. Прежде чем Кравченко успел. Оружие на земле. Запретный бомб.
the secure our exit. Plant the gas can in the bed. Good. Let's get to the vault. We're almost to the vault. There's the vault. Open the door. I've got your back. You grab the intel. I'll keep watch. time before they get through. There's the list bell. Copy it to a disc. I've got contact! We're running out of time, pal. We're cutting through. Almost through the door. Get ready. Here they come. Time for plan B, Bill. Activate the gas. Drop your weapons and surrender.
Thank you, my friend. What's the situation up top? They are on full alert, knocking the building down. We'll have to fight our way out. We're gonna need some heavier gear. I know just the place, my friend. There are heavy weapons by the other people. Southwest courtyard in five minutes. Belikov is hitching a ride. Plenty of room in the back seat. Once we get off the elevator, just keep moving towards the courtyard. Get the charge ready, Bell. Let's go, Bell. for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenluck, Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the States. It's time to take down Perseus, once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back.
Woods, don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit guarantee, Hudson. May I have a word? What's up? You available? You ready? You look ready. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love. We're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Park, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. Fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Go, go, go! Do the honors, Bell. Ready for! Let's go! Okay. Like fucking clockwork. Our team's man up. Advance to the main gate. Lay down the trigger! Step ahead! Give me some fucking cover! We've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Park. Contact! Oh, it's 
Incoming grenade! I'm looking. I'm moving. RPG on the balcony. One behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor, room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs. Let's Help. move. Get you there, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. Adler, we're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. Marcel nos va a mirar si no los detenemos. Solo son tres. Mátenlos. We're heading inside. There's our man the door. Got it, Doug. Bell canvassed the room. Hastings, stop talking. <laughs> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us, escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. 
Time to go. No? Contact. Chopper coming in low. It's gotta be Perseus. All teams head to the roof. Move! Move! And we're gonna get a ton of reinforcements circling this compound. I'm ready for that drink now. Don't tease me, Park. But we'll have none of that horse piss you call beer. Fuego de supresión! Proper drink. Get ready. Here they come. Where's that plane? One minute. Stay focused, Lazar. I'll tell you what. When we get out of this, I'm by. Now that's something worth fighting. Ground team, this is Skyhook. The zone is hot as hell. Can we let him assist? That would be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help is on the way. Ground team, Skyhook. Roger that. Clearing the roof now. That's a hit. Bullseye. Team, we only got enough fuel for one more pass. Be ready for extract. You will not get another chance. Copy that, Skyhook. I can see the plane. Park, we need to hook into the line now. We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go! We don't have much time. Bell, hook in. We don't have much time! Take cover! Shit! Bell? Ground team, My legs. contact in T-10. Nine, Wait. The eight, seven, six, your ass, Bell. five, We're nearly out of time! Three! Two, one. Oh. Well, that was a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking you think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks.
Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. I feel like I owe you. Ah. Bloody hell. Going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have to. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Do the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. You remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Or maybe it was another weapon. Then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so you took the right fork 
not the trail to the left. Get down! Get down! They see! He's moving close. Use our knives. Stay low. Use the grass for cover. They don't see us coming. Cover me! Uh, thanks for the assist. Good luck on your mission. You heard Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Okay, ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. Path split near a ruin. 
So you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. You mentioned crossing a bridge near a village. I thought there was somewhere on the other side. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. This could be the onset of another focal seizure. Don't stop, Bell. Fuck! Fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here it is. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead.
path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. at the bunker across the bridge. God damn it, Bell, we're running out of time. You allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Command! This is Victor 4. We've got a possible Soviet command outpost in sight. And they see all over us. Requesting a napalm strike. Victor 4, Roger. Diverting air power to your area. 30 seconds out. Inside the house hit by napalm, you would find a hidden bunker door. Go check it out, Bell! I don't care if the door was fucking stuck, open it! Give Bell another injection. Do it, now! Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume survive another round. Now you're asking me. Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. 
Ready. Now, we've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next one. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Bell, go into the bunker now. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. But we tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation won't work. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down.
The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Are your hands clean, Bell? No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell. I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. 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 This is your chance to define who you really are, Bill. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line. To make sure the line's still there in the morning. heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. Solovetsky's two clicks out. All units, EMP in transit. Starfish inbound, 400 knots. When that baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air.
gun straight ahead. RPG. One AA cleared. You know that's not good enough. I can't risk an early strike. We only got one shot at this. Contact. You don't think I can? Be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. situation down there. Come in. 
Woods, have you found them yet? Over here! Give me a hit! Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus, and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azalea's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies, we may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. Coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kadavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the 
plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus or Peter, none of these hired guns are going to leave Dugo alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Are your hands clean, Bell? No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. I don't think so. You're still holding back on us, and we are gonna get it out of you. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got come a job. on, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Greenlight Arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Duga. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up, we're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Adler. Right. Yeah. We'll leave with... Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. The Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. It could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev. 
between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Adler. Still seeing no activity from our side. Same. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. You sure you're not forgetting something, Bell? There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's him! He fucking lied to us! That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere Russia so Perseus can detonate those nukes? Comes the mouse. Glad to see you still care. Mind giving me a light? should have been put down long ago. You remember my face, don't you? Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold, but that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. 
<laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. Ah. We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Mm, yet. For humanity. Their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come. There is still much to be done. green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javadi. He fell into the hands of your former CIA friends. Kasim is too soft. I will need you to personally supervise his erasure. It is a shame you had to kill Anton Volkov. He was our most valuable GDR asset. But perhaps with the fall of the West, it will not prove so great a blow. You say that Eliezer Azule perished in Cuba. We will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. With the West in chaos, our key agents within the United States are in place and ready for the next phase of our plan. Now that Europe is in disarray, our agents within their respective governments can help craft Europe's future. One completely aligned with the interests of the Soviet Union. My friend, we are just getting started. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. The Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev, between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. 
A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Adler, still seeing no activity from our side. Same. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. You sure you're not forgetting something, Bell? There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's him! He fucking lied to us! That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere rushes so Perseus can detonate those nukes? What kind of fucked up logic is that? What a waste. You actually could have done something with yourself, kid. There's no winner here, Bell! You've just dragged everyone into the loser column with you. I'd let you walk back to Perseus, but I think I'll spare you the regret instead. Why am I not fucking surprised? Time's up, kid. I guess I'll finish this job myself. You wanna load up the body? Fuck if I care. Leave it for Perseus to find. Get Hudson on the horn. We gotta warn the president. How many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javadi fell into CIA hands. He is far too soft. I will need someone to handle his erasure. It is a shame we lost Anton Volkov. He was our most valuable GDR asset. But perhaps with the fall of the West, it will not prove so great a blow. Eliezer Azale perished in Cuba. We will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. The others, however, are still out there. 
I will finish them all off myself if I have to. With the West in chaos, our key agents within the United States are in place and ready for the next phase of our plan. Now that Europe is in disarray, our agents within their respective governments can help craft Europe's future, one completely aligned with the interests of the Soviet Union. My friend, we are just getting started. <laughs>